Good morning, students. Let's start revision of fractions and decimals in our question number one. Okay, what should be subtracted? What should be subtracted from one hundred and two point five five to get the greatest two digit number? What should be subtracted from? Which word came from? From this number, which number we will subtract? Then we will get greatest two digit number. Now first we should know which is the greatest two digit number. Ninety nine is the greatest two digit number. See here, we have to write here greatest two digit number. Which is greatest two digit number? Is ninety nine. Yes. Greatest two digit number is ninety nine. Okay. Then what should be subtracted from this to get ninety nine? Greatest two digit number means which number ninety nine? So what should be subtracted from this number? From this, which word came from? From word came. Okay, means from. From this number. So this number we have to write first and from. This number. What number should be subtracted? The number which we don't know. What we have to take? X. Okay. We have to consider X. Okay. So let the subtracted. What should be subtracted? That we don't know. So let the subtracted number be X. Let the number be X. Okay. What should be subtracted? This I don't know, so I consider x. Okay, from from which from this number from what came means this number we have to write first. From this number, what should be subtracted? We consider x. So x minus x will come to get the greatest two digit number. To get to get greatest two digit number. What is the greatest two digit number? Ninety-nine. Okay. So what should be subtracted from one hundred and two point five five to get the greatest two-digit number? What should be subtracted from from this number? What should be subtracted? So I consider x the number which we don't know that we have to consider x to get greatest two-digit number. Greatest two-digit number is ninety-nine. So solve now this. Okay, so now here minus x will be as it is. This number is here. See which sign is here? No sign means plus. If you will transfer to that side, then it will become minus. So minus one hundred and two point five five. Okay. So minus x is equal to. Now see this number is plus and this is minus. So plus minus. Minus so subtract ninety nine from one hundred and two. Okay, what we'll get? See here from one hundred and two we have to subtract ninety nine. Okay, ninety nine subtract means see ninety nine is whole number. After that we have to give the decimal point. Okay, that you should know. Okay, subtract this five 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 minus zero five five minus zero five two minus nine is not possible. So take zero cannot be so here. Yeah. Nine zero here twelve twelve minus nine three nine minus nine zero okay and what will come here zero so what we got answer three point five five okay now three point five five we got now check the sign C which is greater number in these one hundred and two is greater. Is greater than ninety nine. For answer, we have to give the sign of greater number. Now, which is greater in this both? One hundred and two is point five five is greater or ninety nine is greater? One hundred and two is one hundred and two point five five is greater number. So we have to give for answer greater number sign. Okay. Now see both the sides we have negative sign. So cancel this sign from here. Negative and here negative. Here. Cancel. So what will remain? X is equal to three point five five. Okay. So that number is three point five five. 
So what should be subtracted? 3.55 should be subtracted from 102.55 to get the greatest two digit number. Okay, so what is our answer? X is equal to 3.55. Let's solve question number two. What must be added to rupees 15 and 8 paise to get rupees 30? Okay, so what must be added? What to add don't know. So let that number be x. Okay, what to add that we don't know. So let the number be x. Okay, what must be added to rupees 15 and 8 paise? Yes, so what to add? Don't know. 15.08 in this what to add don't know so that number we consider x so add plus x to get to get rupees 30 to get rupees 30 0 0 paise ok so what must be added to rupees 15 and 8 paise to get rupees 30, what must be added? We have add x, the number which we don't know. What to add, we don't know. So we add x to get. To get means to get this answer. Rupees 30. Okay. So now here we have to use the transposal rules here. For this number, it is positive sign. It is plus. If it will transfer to that side, then it will become minus. If x here only is equal to 30. Minus 30.00 minus 15.08. Okay, means this amount we have to minus. So do the subtraction 30.00 minus 15.08. Okay, so 0 minus 8 is not possible. So we have, so we have to borrow from him, but he don't have. So borrow for, he will borrow for, from him. We don't have so we borrow from him. He will give. Okay, so remain here two. How much he got now? Ten. Now he will borrow from him. Okay, so here will remain nine. Borrow from him. Here will remain nine. Okay, so ten minus eight two. Nine minus zero nine. Okay, point nine minus five. 4 and 2 minus 1, 1. So what we got x is equal to 14.92. 14.92. What we got answer? 14.92. Now it is given in rupees. Okay, so rupees 14.92. Okay, so what must be added to rupees 15.08? 14.92. Must be added to rupees 15.08 to get rupees 30. Okay, so we got x is equal to rupees 14.92. Okay, so 14.92. Let's solve question number 3. Find the area of rectangle whose length is 6.3 centimeter and breadth is 4 centimeter. Okay, length is given. Breadth is given and we have to find the area of rectangle. What is the formula for area of rectangle? Length into breadth. Okay. So, area of rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Okay. Now, length is given 6.3 centimeter. Okay. 6.3 Centimeter and breadth is given 4 centimeter. How much breadth is given? 4 centimeter and we have to find its area. Okay, area, area of rectangle. What is the formula for area of rectangle? Length into breadth. Length multiplied by breadth. Okay, so length is given 6.3 centimeter. Breadth is given 4 centimeter. Okay, so we have to do the multiplication of this both the number. Okay, you can multiply it sim means take as a simple number and multiply it and then you can shift the decimal point. 4 3s are 12, 4 
फोर सिक्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके वेर इज द डेसिमल पॉइंट हियर बिफोर वन डिजिट हियर ओके सो काम द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट बिफोर वन डिजिट गिव द डेसिमल पॉइंट सो वॉट इज द एंसर ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू ओके नाउ वट यूनिट इट विल कम इट इज आज एरिया सो यूनिट वॉट इट विल कम स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर और सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर यू कैन राइट स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर और सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर इट इज आज फॉर द एरिया सो वी हैव टू राइट द यूनिट स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर इफ इट इज आज फॉर द पेरीमीटर देन ओनली सेंटीमीटर विल कम लेट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ कार कवर द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेवेंटीन पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर इन वन लीटर पेट्रोल वॉट इज गिवन इन वन लीटर पेट्रोल सीयर वन लीटर पेट्रोल हाउ मच डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय कार सेवेंटीन पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर वी हैव टू राइट दिस इन शॉर्ट ओके वन सेवेंटीन पॉइंट वन किलोमीटर इन वन लीटर पेट्रोल ओके हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट कवर यूजिंग फाइव लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल वॉट इट इज आज यूजिंग फाइव लीटर पेट्रोल हाउ मच डिस्टेंस सो क्वेश्चन मार्क हियर आई रिटर्न डिस्टेंस सो क्वेश्चन मार्क How much distance will it cover using five liter of petrol? Okay, means using one liter of petrol, seventeen point one kilometer distance covered by car. Okay, then using five liter of petrol, how much distance covered by car? Okay, so now it is given for one and asking for many. See, given for one liter and it has asked for five liter. So what we have to do? We have to multiply. If given for one and asking for many, then we have to multiply. So multiply seventeen point one multiplied by five. Okay, five ones are five. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five ones are five plus three. ए ओके फर्स्ट डू लाइक अ सिंपल एग्जांपल नाउ सी आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट हियर वन डिजिट इज गिवन सी आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट वन डिजिट इज गिवन सो फॉर आंसर बिफोर वन डिजिट सी फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड बिफोर वन डिजिट गिव द डेसिमल पॉइंट सो व्हाट आंसर वी गॉट 85.5 किलोमीटर सो व्हाट यू विल राइट द आंसर सी आफ्टर When you will get this answer after that, we have to write in the sentence. See, this it is word problem. So after getting the answer, you have to write in the word. How much distance will it cover using five liter of petrol? Eighty five point five kilometer distance cover using five liter petrol. Or using five liter petrol, eighty five point five kilometer distance covered by car. Okay. Let's solve question number five. A car covers the distance of sixty-seven point two kilometer in four point two liters of petrol. Okay, find the distance covered by a car in one liter petrol. Okay, now first you write D one. What is D one in four point two liter petrol? Sixty-seven point two kilometer distance covered by a car. Okay. So four point two liter. This we have to write in short. Given we have to write in short. In four point two liter of petrol, car covers a distance sixty seven point two kilometer. Okay, car covers a distance sixty seven point two kilometer in four point two liters of petrol. Okay, find the distance covered by a car in one liter petrol. Then in one liter petrol. How much distance covered by a car? Okay. Now what is given? In 4.2 liter petrol, car covers a distance 67.2 kilometer. Okay. Then using one liter of petrol, distance covered by a car. Now here, if you look, so it is given for a many and asking for one. See, given for 4.2 liter petrol. And now it has asked for the one liter of petrol. Means given for many and asking for one. Then what we have to do? We have to divide. Okay. If it is given for many and asking for one, then what we have to do? We have to divide. So what we are going to do? Divide sixty-seven point two by four point two. So divided by four point two. Okay, for sixty-seven point two, we have to divide by four point two. Okay, now 
decimals division. Okay. So what I said whenever we are doing the division of decimal numbers, what we have to do? We have to convert in the fraction. Decimal numbers convert in the fractions. Okay. Now six, seven, two upon ten. Why upon ten? See, after decimal point here one digit. So see here. After one we have to give one zero. Okay. Okay. So six, seven, two upon ten divided by sine as it is. First we have to write this decimal number in the fraction. Okay. So now four point two. Right here forty two. So See after decimal point here one digit. So after one give here one zero. Okay. Next one right here one zero. Okay. So now we can divide six hundred and seventy two upon ten. Now do the reciprocal of forty two upon ten. What is the reciprocal of forty two upon ten? Ten upon forty two. Okay. So ten upon forty two we got. Okay, now we can do the lowest term for this. Ten ones are ten, ten ones are ten. So what will remain here? Six hundred and seventy-two divided by forty-two. Six hundred and seventy-two divided by forty-two. Now we got six hundred and seventy-two divided by forty-two. Now check both the numbers are divisible by two. We'll start from smallest number. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. Okay, here. Two threes are six. Two threes are six. Two six are twelve. Okay. Again, this both the numbers. See now what we got? Three hundred and thirty-six upon twenty-one. Okay. Here I'm showing. These numbers are divisible by three. See, three hundred and thirty-six upon twenty. Three sevens are twenty-one. Three ones are three. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Okay, one hundred and twelve upon seven. Okay, or you can do directly division by twenty one also. Okay, now divide by seven for one hundred and twelve. See here to divide one hundred and ten. Twelve divided by seven. Seven one zero seven. Okay, eleven minus seven four. Seven six zero forty two. So what we got answer sixteen. See what we got answer sixteen. Either you you would have if you would have divided by twenty one directly for three hundred and thirty six C one though. Okay, it is up to you how you will do the lowest term. You can do directly here also. Okay, so sixteen we got so sixteen kilometer. Okay, so what it is as find the distance covered by car in one liter of petrol. In one liter of petrol, car covers sixteen kilometer distance. Okay, in one liter of petrol, car covers a distance sixteen kilometer.